When I got up in the morning, he had gotten Molly up and he was fixing breakfast for both of us. And it just was like, oh my gosh. I just took my breath away, basically. I was kidding when, when she came in. I said, what are you grinning about? You look so happy. She said, I met a guy last night and oh, what a handsome looking dude he was. And I said, oh, really? And she was telling me all oh, about the manly jawline he had and how well dressed he was. And I said, well, what happened? She says, you know, I went over and I danced with him and she said, you can't believe the enjoyment and the acceleration of meeting somebody who reflected to me how I was feeling about him. This is the way she went on and on. And I said, what is this guy's name? And she said, Ted Bundy. I have not had that with anyone else where I just right off the bat felt connected to someone. It just felt like two pieces of a puzzle coming together just fit. And it was really quite spectacular. I thought he was very funny and he seemed very mature and he seemed polished and told me that he was a law student. So I thought as a lawyer, he's certainly gonna make a, a nice living and have these wonderful things that he wants. And since I was new to Seattle, he could hardly wait to show me his favorite restaurants. He had a favorite Asian rug store that we went to and look at all the Asian rugs and just things that I, I thought were just endearing. My daughter had a lot of friends in our neighborhood and so Ted was really fun with them. He'd play with them. He'd get a hose and they'd all get their little umbrellas and they'd be in their swimming suits and he'd make rain for them on the lawn. And, and of course the kids loved it. He taught my daughter how to ride her bike. She just really took to that. Oh, it's like it is with everybody's dad teaching them to ride a bike. He ran along. Well, actually, let me start at this. He did not like it that I had training wheels on my bike. And so he took these wheels off my bike and he would hold on to the back of it and run down the alleyway with me. And I would try to steer. And all of a sudden he said something and he was way at the other end of the alley. And I realized I'm riding this bike by myself. So I crashed into someone's garage promptly. I remember meeting him the first night when he came home with my mom to our house and he read me my favorite book, which I had memorized. It was called Teddy Bear from Bumpkin Hollow. He would read along and he would say, Freddy Bear. And I'd say, not Freddy Bear, Teddy Bear. And, and just make it ridiculous and I would laugh and I thought he was delightful. If you look at any of these pictures, he's swinging me in circles head first to the ground and he was always throwing me, hanging me upside down and I trusted him 100%. I mean, he gave you his entire self. And, you know, for a kid, that's everything. For somebody to pay exquisite attention to your experience is what you're looking for. And I could see he lit my mom up like a, a woman in love. And that just made sense. We were like a family. That's what I remember. He did seem to just settle right into our family. It was like everything that I'd ever wanted, so I was hooked. That continuous happiness just radiated in her, and it was such a sweet story to watch love grow and be so intense and so complete. She swore that it was like going to heaven. I felt good in the relationship, and I felt loved. I just didn't have any doubts. Ted and my dad had a bond that was really different than my relationship with my dad, but they just would talk about football and politics and just have a good time together. And 